What's up everyone? My name is Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Top 5 Wednesday video and in honor of May being Mental Health Awareness Month, this Top 5 Wednesday is books featuring mental health. If you're not familiar with Top 5 Wednesday, I'll leave the links down below. So I'm just going to get right into it and I don't think I'm going to do like deep dives on summaries or anything. I'm just going to go through what kind of mental health they feature and I liked all of these books. So. First up is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Coel. This is an adult sci-fi book set in the 1950s, like an alternate history where a meteorite has crashed into the area causing an extinction level event and our main character wants to be female astronaut, which is quite a hurdle to overcome at the time. In this book, our main character has anxiety, especially anxiety in public places, and it's a major theme of the book, her trying to deal with that while she's attempting to do something that is so revolutionary that really puts her in the spotlight. And I really love that aspect of the book. Next is, this is funny because I filmed two videos at a time and I talked about this book in the last video too, but it is Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. This is a story about three friends who go to Comic-Con together in LA and they're from Australia and it takes place over like three days and it's just cute, fun, Comic-Con <laughs> feelings, fangirling, like a good time. But in addition to being like a fun, good time, the main character has anxiety and, oh, has ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, which is not a mental illness, but it I do think it impacts the way her anxiety manifests. And again, that's a major theme of the book. It's not brushed aside. Next is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This was a recent read of mine and I enjoyed it. The uh, mental health rep is in a side character not a side character, not a perspective character. They are a main character in the book. And he suffers from depression that gradually gets worse throughout the book. And we're kind of watching everything happen from our main character's perspective. I thought the rep was really good. I I mean, I don't have depression now, but I did when I was a teenager. So it, it felt like it was portrayed really realistically. Next is, oh damn, you know what? I have the calculating stars and I forgot to hold it up. <sighs> Next is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is a really popular one for a mental health rep because our main character Kaz has PTSD and you don't see that a lot in books at all or in young adult books, especially well done PTSD depictions and Kaz's is done very well. Another thing I don't see a lot of people mention but I think is also important rep is a side character Jesper it has a gambling addiction and addiction is considered a mental illness so I think it's worth mentioning. I do think his addiction is more addressed in Crooked Kingdom, but it's definitely in Six of Crows. I can't say anything about how good the rep is, but I appreciate that it's there. My last pick is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is a young adult contemporary with like sci-fi elements. Our main character Henry suffers from depression and suicidal ideation, and that is what the book is about. We're set up in this book as every night Henry is abducted by aliens, and the aliens give him the opportunity to push a red button to save the world. And if he doesn't push the button by a certain date, the world will end. And Henry, every night, tries to decide if he wants to bother saving the world. The whole book is about Henry, his depression, and what is basically suicidal ideation. That's definitely how it reads to me. This is such a good book. So if you haven't read it, I would definitely recommend it if you can handle those themes. All right, that's it for my Top 5 Wednesday books featuring mental health picks. I post book-related videos every Wednesday, so if you want to see more, subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to keep talking, I'm on Twitter at Kelsey Reads or Goodreads at Kelsey Lynn Reads. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.